Hi, it's Gene, retired in Mexico, and we're going to get right into it. No bumper. 133 favorite artists, which is just where the list ended. I made 80-minute playlists. I listened to them for a year, ranked them, re-ranked them. This is where I said I'm good. And I considered the live experience, and if I've uh, if I read about the artists, am I interested in them? Do I buy books or DVDs or things like that? So I got another good one for you today. So what are we talking about? We're talking about Southern Rock, a band based in Atlanta. There are a lot of groups based in Atlanta. And this is number 91. And hit that like or subscribe button. It really helps. And if you're watching this video, I really appreciate it. I love rankings. Um, also, the playlists that I made, this particular artist, you can go right down below. I've got a link to the Spotify playlist, 80 Minutes of This Artist. I've also got a link to my Patreon page. Any support there is welcome, but you can join for free. So far, I don't have any paid videos because I haven't done any album reactions, but I am thinking about doing it. So if you're interested in that, let me know. But yeah, good one. So uh, this is a 21st century band, primarily. They formed in the late 1990s. and uh, But yeah, they're, they're a different kind of Southern rock. Not the Allman Brothers, not Leonard Skinner, not Molly Hatchett. This is a literate band, well-read. Um, one of the founding members is the son of a Muscle Shoals, Alabama studio in-session bass player. You probably got it figured out by now, talking about Patterson Hood, the son of David Hood, and Mike Cooley, and everyone else who's been in the band, like Jason Isbell. We're talking about drive-by truckers. These guys are great. I mean, it's like high IQ Southern rock. That, that's irresistible for me, because I, I, love, I love Southern rock, uh, but I like that they add a little bit of smarts to it, and they're really good storytellers. So have I seen the band live? Yes, I have. I saw them at a club in 2014, April of 2014, the English Oceans Tour, and it was great. Yeah, lo loved them. <coughs> and so what do I have by them? Well, you know, I, had, I, I, I was looking for my digipacks, and, and maybe, I don't know, maybe I took these to the uh, store. I had A Blessing and a Curse, Brighter Than Creation's Dark, and Decoration Day. I cannot find them. Um, like I say, those were all digipacks. But I do have my favorite, which is Southern Rock Opera. Two discs. This is one of my probably five favorite albums of the 21st century. Really great. Uh, if you haven't heard a song like Ronnie and Neil about Ronnie Van Zant and Neil Young and that rivalry that they had uh, in song, right? You had uh, Neil Young sing in Alabama and then, then uh, Leonard Skinner responded with Sweet Home Alabama. Uh, I hope Neil Young will remember a Southern man. Don't need him around anyhow. And Southern man was uh, an allusion to the song Southern Man. Uh, but Drive-By Truckers explained that it was a feud for show only and that they loved each other's music. And it's great. They take this feud and they write a song about it. It's absolutely wonderful. Uh, if you, like I say, if you haven't heard Southern rock opera, it, it's a um, uh, concept album, and, it, and it's just great. All these songs like... Um, the three great Alabama icons and angels and fuselage. Yeah, it's about a fake Southern rock band, right? And then they go down in a plane crash like Leonard Skinner did. And everything here is a three guitar attack. And I also, to show you how much I like these guys, I have a DVD of theirs. And this is really fantastic. This was their original lineup. So this is called um, Live at the 40 Watt. In 2004, it's the Dirty South Tour. That's great. And uh, so this is all their early stuff. I did a, a Master Monday series on one of their songs that I love called 
Talking George Jones Cell Phone Blues, if I got that title right. It's really great. You'll be singing duets with Tammy. If you don't know what I mean, check it out. Um, yeah, I just... These these songs, like uh, some of their songs, like uh, Go Go Boots, which is about a preacher who was having an affair with a woman, and they presented the Go Go Boots in court. <laughs> I mean, they're such great storytellers. And now Mike Cooley has been writing more and more songs, so they're kind of even now. Past- Patterson Hood was kind of the dominant songwriter. And uh, like I say, Jason Isbell has left. And formed a a great uh, career of his own but as much as i like him i prefer this band and i actually prefer jason isbell's songs that he wrote with the band by and large not always but for the most part so that's it i'll keep it short um check out the playlist I, i i really adore these guys and as we say here in bonita mexico buen dia